Hamas terrorists are hiding in Gaza City inside tunnels, underneath houses and inside buildings populated with innocent Gazan civilians. There are civilians here who are not our enemy and we do not want to target them. We are asking them to evacuate so that we will be able to continue to strike military targets belonging to Hamas in the Gaza Strip. At the end of this war, our intention is that, the, that Hamas will no longer have any ability to strike or harm or kill Israeli civilians. It is Friday morning, 7.20 a.m. local Israeli time and uh, I have some uh, updates for you to uh, know regarding the operations and the war against Hamas. The situation during the night has been relatively quiet relative to the last six days. Uh, still rocket fire towards southern Israel. There are still terrorists that are attacking uh, Israeli communities or at least trying. Uh, most of them have been repelled, killed or taken into custody. Uh, but what I want to share with you first is a humanitarian step that the IDF is taking in order to minimize civilian casualties as this war unfolds. And I would like to read verbatim, word for word, the message that we sent, obviously in Arabic, to the local population in Gaza City, informing them of the need to evacuate from where they are for their own safety. This is the message. The IDF calls for the evacuation of all civilians from Gaza City. I can I'll zoom in in a second. From Gaza City, from their homes, southwards for their own safety and protection and to move to the area south of Wadi Gaza, the river Gaza, as shown on the map. We distributed this with a map as well. And in order to understand what we're talking about, Gaza City, a major center, the biggest center of population in the Gaza Strip. If we zoom in a bit, here we have Gaza City and more to the south, Gaza River. You can see it here, this path. That is the Gaza River and what the uh, statement is saying, that people living in Gaza for their own safety should move south of this river. A river being something clear and understandable for everybody uh, whether or not they have a map or no. I'll continue to read. The Hamas terrorist organization waged a war against the state of Israel and Gaza City is an area where military operations are taking place. This evacuation is for your own safety. You will be able to return to Gaza City only when another announcement permitting it is made. Do not approach the area of the security fence with the state of Israel, which means telling the Gazans do not go this way towards the security fence, do not approach the border, only go south. Again, out of a concern for safety uh, of uh, non-combatants. Con I'll continue to read. Hamas terrorists are hiding in Gaza City inside tunnels, underneath houses and inside buildings populated with innocent Gazan civilians. Civilians of Gaza City, evacuate south for your own safety and the safety of your families and distance yourself from Hamas terrorists who are using you as human shields. And the last paragraph, in the following days, the IDF will continue to operate with significant force in Gaza City and will make extensive efforts to, <coughs> sorry, to avoid harming civilians. That's the message that we issued a few hours ago 
to Gaza and civilians and the aim here is to minimize the damage to civilians. There are significant combat operations ongoing and we are preparing for future and the continuance of our combat operations and out of an understanding that there are civilians here whom are not our enemy and we do not want to target them. We are asking them to evacuate so that we will be able to continue to strike military targets belonging to Hamas in the Gaza Strip. That is the purpose and I think that's an important, important update relevant uh, for you to be aware of. This is a first notice that we gave. We understand that this will take time. It's not an easy process but we uh, have uh, issued this guidance and the aim of the evacuation is simply to save lives. Uh, as you may have read in the media, this was communicated to UN authorities, first and foremost to UN authorities, and the IDF is in uh, communications and liaison with UN authorities, uh, transferring information to them and also listening to what the UN informs Israel about the humanitarian situation in Gaza. And, as I've said many times during the last seven days, the IDF remains fully committed to the law of international conflict. We will carry ourselves accordingly, in sharp contrast to the enemies around us and to Hamas, uh, which is in total disregard of anything related to values, norms, and definitely not the laws of armed conflict. The uh, other things that are important for everyone to know, I think, are related to casualties. Unfortunately, the number of Israeli casualties has risen again to 1,300 Israeli civilians and soldiers, and more than 3,000 wounded. The uh, Northern Front, which we have spoken about a few times, has been relatively stable over the last hours. We are on high alert on the north as we have been over the last few days with enhanced troops, vigilant, watching the actions of Hezbollah. And same thing could be said about the Golan Heights. So we spoke about Lebanon and the Golan Heights. As we uh, begin the seventh day of this war against Hamas, I wish to emphasize what our aim is. Our aim is to take all of Hamas's military abilities and strip them away. At the end of this war, our intention is that, the, that Hamas will no longer have any ability to strike or harm or kill Israeli civilians. That is the purpose of what we are doing now inside the Gaza Strip and that is what we will continue to do as this war unfolds and as we uh, will deal a decisive blow to Hamas for the horrible, heinous acts that they have done.